Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin Capricorn. Listen, I really do see that you could be a little bit too hard on yourself at times. It could even be anxiety is what I'm getting that you could be feeling because of your experiences with other people, toxic people. And so at times you might catch yourself sitting on edge and that you're potentially feeling what you want uh, what you once used to feel this is you this is just you being afraid that it might happen again so anything that you dealt with in the past you, you could be thinking that it's 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 on repeat or it's it's history repeating itself but you're doing all right you're, you're doing okay um, for the most part you need to start to realize that you've already pushed yourself away from any toxicity from the past and and nobody's nothing is going to come towards you that no longer serves you nobody's ever going to hurt you like that again and this this goes for family members as well i'm seeing that there's a lot of involvement regarding family and, and family issues there are a couple of people that have done wrong by you and by all means i'd take my hat off to you if you can manifest the way that you have and you you've then you've done it um you know you've mastered your own path but all in all i'm seeing that there are those thoughts coming in they creep in from time to time it, it could be messing with your your head and your decision making. It could be messing with your energies. Try to send yourself, um, try to find balance. Try to send yourself to a place where, you know, you have some quiet time. You're surrounded by uh, peace and, and tranquility and, and something that, that makes you, any, any, this could be anything. It, it's your happy place. Uh, increase your exercise. I'm seeing that you've slowed down on fitness, so get out more, get some fresh air. A lot of people may not think this works, but it really does, and try to get more involved in doing some kind of fun activities. Get more involved within your community, even if it doesn't have to be that you're doing it with other people. It could just be something that you do for yourself and just keep working, working really hard uh, to keeping your mind occupied, doing the things that really get your blood flowing, get your juices flowing, and you'll know what those things are. You yourself know exactly what those things are. Those things you need to work on more often than not. You may notice as well that there are a lot of people being drawn to you and you could be fine. You could be honestly sitting back asking yourself, why is this happening and what a coincidence this is? And why I say coincidence is because there's a lot of uh, energies around you, Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio. I also want to say randomly Gemini and Capricorn, these particular signs are moving towards you more so now than ever before. And the reason for this is because of the way that you present yourself to others and who you are drawing into your immediate circle in terms of these particular signs. What they find interesting, most interesting <clears throat> about you is your willingness to continue on, to keep going. Not many people have that. Now, when you project such qualities within yourself and you, you present that to the rest of the world, a lot of people are going to look up to that. They look up to you. Letting go of a relationship but staying true to another addiction, and it doesn't matter what that is, is the other thing to be mindful of this week. Try to take care of yourself. It's about self-awareness. It's about self-care, and it's about being certain about what you want and, and be sure to stick to that because your strength is uh, undeniable. Thank you, Capricorn.